Hello beautiful witches, welcome back to my channel, Callie Contours here. Today we are playing with the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette and because I am a recovering drug addict, I didn't want to be triggered by the packaging but I really just loved the cover story so I redecorated the packaging as you can see with some Halloween stickers. I even did it on the mural a bit. Um, but yeah, to find out about the looks that I'm going to do by continuing watching this video and let's get to it. Okay, so I primed with the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. And I am going to do a I think a cool toned look so I'm gonna start with mix it up just pack that in the outer corner I think I'm gonna put some in the inner corner too okay These mats are so pigmented. It's kind of hard to get in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into Dirty Martini and just blend this out. And this might take a while. Well, maybe it won't because glam light shadows blend so well. Yeah, it didn't take long at all, actually. Having to go in a couple of times, though, to get the pigment that I want. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller brush and go back in to mix it up. And I'm going to connect it. I think I want to connect it. Yeah, I like that look better. And then back to blending it out. Okay, next I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to cut the crease. And do the same on the other side, of course. Okay, I think I need to go back in right oh that that brush isn't small enough with this brush make it a little darker right here. There we go. And then try to cover it up a little bit. Very gentle strokes. Okay, for the lower lash line, I am going to go into Classic, which is this shade. Yeah. 
I think that kind of brightens it up a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go, hmm, I think I'm going to go into high class on my finger and put that on the edge of the cut crease. And then I'm going to go into just a splash. Love these shimmels. And you really don't even need to use a glitter glue with these shimmels. I mean, you can. It will help the longevity, but you don't have to. Okay, next I'm going to go into what has been my favorite color so far, Gin. I'm going to pop that right there. Oh, I love that. Okay, you know the deal by now, uh, Lionel and Lashes. Okay, here's the finished look. I added Mix's um, Milk in my waterline. I feel like this is a very colorful green look. Um, also, I have uh, Fenty's Glow Heat 03 on my lips. And I just feel like this is a very colorful green look like there were many different tones of green some gold going on very pretty okay let's go to my next one okay to the second look i kind of feel like doing a neutral smoky eye which is like something might be wrong with me because that's not me at all but i'm going to take extra dirty just kind of create a ring with it and connect it like that and bring it in Okay, and then um, I'm going to go into Dry Vermouth, Vermouth, I don't know how to say that. And then I'm going to take a clean brush and just kind of dab it out. Going to take a little bit more in the crease Okay, and then I'm going to go into just a splash on my finger. Take it to the inner corner and then pull it inwards. I 
don't normally do this shape of eyeshadow, so I'm kind of feeling it. Okay, I'm going to go back into Extra Dirty. I'll go to the lash line, just connect it like that. Okay, and then I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to take Garnish. Put that right here. Just bring more of a pop of color to it. Okay, I'm going to blend it a little bit more on the wing. Okay, I'm gonna go into On The Rocks, just on my pointer finger, and highlight the brow bone just a little bit. This could be easier with a brush that I get at Going Across the Room and getting one. Okay, liner and lashes. Okay, here's the finished look. I have Dolan Decay Shine for 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Smog on my um, eye line. And I'm wearing KBD's Witches on my lips. And here's the look. I actually really like it. It's different than what I normally go for, but I think it's really flattering. Let's get into the last look. Okay, let's get started with the last look. I'm putting on a little bit of Milani eyeshadow primer. And I want this look to be very dark and dramatic. So I'm going to bring in a black from another palette. Okay, so I'm going to take my Kaleidos Sci-Fi Green. And I'm going to take this matte black down here. I'm just going to put it in the outer corner and kind of into the crease a bit. And that was a bit more than I wanted, but oh well. I'm going to take it under the lash line a little bit. Can you hear Ico pulling? Hi, I'm Ico. I'm Ico. I'm a terrorist. And I have a really big belly. And I pull. Pull. Okay. Good job, Ico. Next, I'm going to go into Dory Martini and dab it over the black i think it's good to bring in colors from other palettes to see how they blend together and as you can see this is blending very nicely that black is kind of sticking though i think the eyeshadow primer was maybe a bit too wet So 
that's cool it's gonna fit that room should i take it under the lash line yeah i love this dory martini shit is that what it's called yeah it's called dory martini which is the name of the palette Okay, next I'm going to go into classic. And bring that right there. I'm going to get a clean blush and buff it out a bit. I'm trying a new eyebrow style. Tell me what you guys think. It's, it's quite different. Okay, I'm going to go back into the black in the Kaleidos palette just a little bit. Because, like I said, I want this very dark and vampy. It's kind of hard to do vampy with green, but oh well. Going back in with the blush that I used before for blending. Blend, blend, keep that eye, keep that eye, blend, blend. Okay, let's think about shimmels. I'm going to take, do I have a flat brush here? Yes, I'm going to take a flat brush and spray it with this natural finish setting spray from Wet n Wild. Get it nice and wet. And then, let's see, I think I'm going to go into Olive Level. That, oh, that's such a pretty color. It's very dark green with a nice little shimmer to it. I think Olive Level is a good name for this color. Okay, next, on the same side of the brush, I'm going to go into Crisp. I think I'm going to get another one of my a um, single shadow actually and really pull this look together wait till you see it we gotta finish the lower lash line first okay i think i'm going to take dry warm off that right there Okay, let me go get the indie shade. This is Celine by Taylor Moon Cosmetics. And I just, I do this with like almost every green look that I do. I just take it on my finger and I put it right in the inner corner. Look at that. So pretty. That's why I have painting this because I do a lot of green looks. And like I have what iridescent chameleons in other colors, but the most I've used is, is the green because I always do this with my green looks. I just think it makes it like a final touch. Okay, you know the drill. Line on lashes. Okay, here's the finished look. I added some more Celine as a highlight. And excuse my lobes, I'm sorry. I wore some acrylic plugs and I got really irritated um but yeah here's the finished look very vampy very gothic but still green i feel like the lipstick really pulls it all together yeah so thank you guys for watching my three looks one palette video um 
I have more coming up, so stay tuned. If you like me, then you could hit the like button. You could subscribe, see more of me. I upload randomly, so it's like a present when I upload. It's just a random gift for you. So, yeah, stay wheeled.